okay, so here you are living this life and 1992 rolls around. Uh, you're age 15 around this time. Uh, now, you actually had moved out and you were completely living on your own. Yeah. Uh, how are you able to actually finance that? Selling drugs. Okay. So you had your own apartment. You had your own car. And no one actually knew you were 15. Nobody knew I was 15. None of the maniacs knew I was 15. Did you feel by this time that you had a, a drug problem? No, I mean, I was tooting cocaine and popping acid, but I was, I controlled it. I, my mind level, I, my, I was thinking straight. I ain't bring no problems to the maniacs. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, I stood my hood down, you know what I'm saying? I made sure everything was straight. Okay, and then on May 10th, 1992, uh, a friend of yours named Mudo. The Mudo, rest in peace. He got killed by the Latin Kings. Yes, he did. Now, Mudo, was he a member of your gang or just a civilian? He was just a kid in the neighborhood that the brothers felt. We all took turns taking him to school because he didn't like to ride the yellow bus. And he was deaf. So he was more embarrassed at the yellow bus. So we all took turns taking him to school. So he just uh, used to always be seen in folks' car. So they made him a target. So this was just a deaf kid that you guys were just kind of taking care of in your own way. And because of the proximity, the Latin Kings assumed that he was part of your gang. Yeah. How was he killed exactly? He got shot in my car. In your car? Yeah, he got his brains blown out. But you were not in the car at the time. I was in the corner. Um, I was actually working that night selling drugs. So that morning when it was time for me to take him to school, I was changing shifts. And he was in my car and he was excited because it was Mother's Day. And he wanted me to take him and go buy his mom some something. And he kept beeping the horn. And I was talking to my folks. So by the time I went to turn around, the car had pulled up and blew his brains out. How did you react when you saw that? You saw nothing but fire. Okay. So your friend gets killed and you go meet with his mother. His mother ran out to the car. She felt it. She felt it. That's why I don't have kids, so I don't know. But they say a parent knows when something's wrong with their child. Because as soon as she, as soon as he was shot, she ran at the house screaming. And she ran to the car. What was the conversation like with the mother at that point? She wasn't trying to hear nothing. All I could do was promise her that I would get it and did it. Okay. So you make a promise uh, to Mudo's mother that you're going to avenge his death. Definitely. How did you know that a Latin king actually pulled the trigger? They were calling out, their, they was calling, throwing out their crowns and calling out, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting the maniacs. They drove right past us. Okay. So you know it was the Latin Kings, but did you know specifically who did it? Not at that moment, no. Okay, but the hood talks. So now word starts getting around and so forth. So what information did you start to get after that? I actually got information not even from the hood. Information came from the police. Information came really? from the when they informed us that they had somebody in custody and that they was going to court and then informed us when they was being wounded out. So it was never the hood that if they said anything. It was the police, the, the sheriffs in the county jail that was hitting my people, letting me know that they was being released. Okay, okay. So you're telling me that the actual sheriff was trying to fan the flames of this beef by letting you know that this guy who allegedly killed your friend is coming out of prison, out of I'm jail. Out of jail. Actually. Yeah, bonding out. Bonding out. So you knew who did it and his name and everything else like that? By at that point, I, I knew because he went to bond hearing and I was there. Oh, you went to the actual bond hearing? What was it like being in the same room with the man who killed your friend? I just wanted him dead. Okay, so two days later, on May 12th, you went and got two girls uh, from the disciples. 
Yeah. Uh, Muneka? Yeah. Am I pronouncing it right? Muneka, you're right. Muneka, a.k.a. Marilyn Mulero, uh, age 22, who actually had two kids of her own. Yeah. And Tootie. Tootie, yeah. Uh, I don't know Tootie's first name. <laughs> Madeline. Madeline. Uh, what's her last name? Mendoza. Okay. So Tootie, a.k.a. Madeline Mendoza. How close were you to these two girls? I weren't close at all with them. They were just folks. I actually, Tootie's mom, I used to get high with. And Muñeca, her brothers was my, my folks. So I was more, I knew her brothers. So I really didn't know them. 